All right, so here's Unit 2, Video 2. We're going to talk today about some coterminal angles. We're going to first define what a coterminal angle is. If two angles are coterminal, then they share the same terminal side. When we draw angles um, on our unit circle, they're measured from the positive x-axis up to their terminal side. So if we call this angle measure theta, this would be the terminal side of theta. I could draw another angle, again beginning on the positive x-axis, but going up and over, and here would be the terminal side. Let's call this angle alpha. So this would be the terminal side of alpha, terminal as in it stops, it ends there. So two angles are coterminal if they end in the same place essentially. So I'm going to grab another color and let's take a look at what I mean. So this angle theta ends here. Well what if I went and I said well this angle that goes all the way around and then ends there and we're going to call that one beta. So I could say that theta and beta are co-terminal because they both end at the exact same place. Let's continue. So here I'm going to give you some angles that are going to be measured in radians or degrees and we're going to talk about how to find co-terminal angles. So as you saw in my picture, let's start with an angle such as um, Let's go with an easy one, pi over 2, which is 90 degrees. If we were to take pi over 2 as our angle measure, and we were to add an entire rotation, which would be 2 pi, because we know that gets us around the circle, then this angle would end at 5 pi over 2. So I would say that pi over 2 and 5 pi over 2 are coterminal. Okay. What about 180 degrees? So we had one in radians and now we've got one measured in degrees. 180 degrees. If we were to make a complete rotation but wanting to end at 180 degrees, I would add 360 degrees, giving me 540 degrees. So we could say 180 degrees and 540 degrees are coterminal angles. I'm going to write the word angles there because it's most appropriate. All right, so now that's nice, but what if we rotated ourselves in the clockwise direction um, and we went the other way? So here I could say, well, 45 degrees minus an entire rotation 360 degrees would leave us at negative 315 degrees. So once again, 45 degrees and negative 350 degrees are coterminal. 315 degrees are coterminal. We can do that again in radians. If I have 2 thirds pi and I want to unwind or wind in the opposite direction around the circle, I would subtract 2 pi. And that would leave me with negative 4 thirds pi. So could we do more than one rotation? Well, let's say I start with 112 degrees and I add one rotation. Now that angle is coterminal to 112. Plus I add another rotation and this leaves me with 832 degrees. 112 is coterminal with 832 degrees. Same thing could work if we subtracted 360 degrees once or twice. The resulting angle, negative 608 degrees, is coterminal. So simply put, if another complete rotation in either the positive or the negative direction is made, the angles are coterminal. That was me adding or subtracting 360 degrees or adding or subtracting 2 pi. So here we're going to go ahead and sketch the position of an angle. I'm going to draw my axes in yellow and then I'm going to grab a different color so you can see what we're doing. 
So if I want to draw or sketch the position of an angle, I could say, oops, that's not a very good color. I would say <laughs> uh, green. Green. I would say here's my original angle. And if I want to draw a coterminal angle to that angle, and I encourage you to get different colors when you're doing this in your notebook as well so you can see, um, this angle would start here, it would go around, it would end there. So I could say alpha and theta are coterminal angles. Okay. So here what we're going to do is I'm going to start you off with the first one and then you're going to do the other three on your own. So we're going to name two coterminal angles. We're going to do one in the positive direction where we're going to add a complete rotation and then we're going to do the other one in the negative direction where we're going to subtract a rotation and then we're also going to sketch um, what these look like. So 80 degrees. 80 degrees plus 360 degrees gives me 440 degrees. But 80 degrees minus 360 degrees, woo, 360 degrees will give me negative 280 degrees. So I could say that 80 is coterminal to 440 degrees and negative 280 degrees. Let's go ahead and sketch it. So I'm going to get my a different color for both my axes and my angles. So here is 80 degrees, just a little short of 90. Okay, and then I'm going to grab another color to show that if I went an entire rotation, that would be my 440 degrees. And another color to show if I went the other direction, I said negative 280. And I know that that's negative 280 because if I went to here and I stopped at this axis, that would be 90, 180, 270. A little bit more gives me 280. So I have all three angles sketched. They are all coterminal angles. You go ahead and try 2, 3, and 4, and we'll discuss those tomorrow in class. All right, um, so quadrantal angles is the last thing we're going to do here today. And um, these angles are very important. Just kind of give you a brief overview of what they are. They're the four angles that lie on either the positive or negative x and y axis. So they are 0 degrees or 360 degrees, or two, uh, excuse me, 0 pi or 2 pi radians. Here we have 90 degrees, or uh, we have pi over 2 radians. Here we have pi, which is halfway around radians, or 180 degrees. And at the bottom, we have 270 degrees, or 3 halves pi radians. The way to remember what these angles are, the quadrantal angles, actually define your quadrants. Um, these are important. Um, they're all um, divisible by 2 here. So if you take a look, we have 0, we have pi over 2 pi, which is just double that, so, or halfway around the entire circle, and 3 pi over 2. So you can remember those being your 90 and 270 when you've got a half and 1 and a half pi. All right, go ahead and make sure you've got all of that in your notes and bring any questions you have to class tomorrow.